So you look at these and you think, oh, they've been growing for a while. Oh, think again. These are one month old. We're the Irwins, and this is Australia Zoo. Our dad, Steve, built this zoo to protect our world's wildlife. Today, we strive to carry on his mission. So come with us, this is Wild Times. We have the cutest little creatures. <laughs> not fluffy, not particularly cuddly, but awfully cute. They're shingleback lizards. This is the first time we've had baby shinglebacks in 15 years. Isn't that incredible? So that's before I was even born. So we're very, very excited. They kind of look like little pine cones, don't they? They're very cute. These guys are part of the skink family. And what's bizarre is the mother can give birth to a single baby that can be up to 40% of her body weight. So you look at these and you think, oh, they've been growing for a while. Oh, think again. These are one month old. Her twins are a month old. They've got these kind of wild looking tails and there's a few different ways that this actually helps them. First of all, this is kind of like a fat reserve for them. So you know that it's a healthy lizard. If they have a, a nice, big, chubby tail, that means they're doing really, really well. But it's actually a good way to evade predators as well because this tail, it looks remarkably like their head. That's not so, nice. No, it's, it's not nice to point out, is it? No. 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 But it, it does work well in the wild, so a predator might mistake this for its head and, and try to grab that, and the, the lizard will be able to make a really quick escape. Oh, oh, look, you're tough. You're very angry. So you can Ooh. see that tongue in there. It's, it's kind of like a, a dark blue, and that's what they do when, when they think there might be a predator around. They open it really wide, and they think they're very big and strong even though they're, they're kind of just like a little pine cone. What's really interesting about these little guys is they're monogamous. They mate for life. So when mating season comes around, they've been off looking for things to eat and having adventures, but they always find each other every time it's time to come together, and they'll follow each other everywhere. Shall we take them back to their desert climate? All right, sounds good. Going to the desert. Here we go. <laughs> in Australia means this afternoon. For example, this Arvo, I spent some time with our beautiful meerkats. Here's a fun fact. Australia's floral emblem is the golden wattle. There's actually quite a big story behind this photo. Every year, we go on our crocodile research trips. It's a big journey up to the Steve Owen Wildlife Reserve to study crocodiles. They're my favourite animals. They're prehistoric, you know, they're just like dinosaurs. And I really, really love being able to get so close to them and learn so much about them. So we caught this one crocodile that we were studying. This one was Big Dunk. It was really cool. He's got these really big teeth. You can see he's got those massive, we call them eye teeth which are the really big ones that sit just behind the eye. And so what I did is I actually used like a, a little camp light, one of those little torches that you bring with you, and I actually set it up right next to his head to kind of illuminate that teeth in the really dark lighting. It almost looks like, I don't know, maybe like a cave or some sort of rock formations as the teeth sort of come on. And so to be that, <laughs> that close to such a powerful animal and, and capture it, I was really thrilled with that. Wow, we can't believe how many amazing animals we've seen. Oh, it was so much fun. These guys are truly venomous lizards. Okay. <laughs> Good oh, work. Look at him, wow. So you look at those big, wide lips, and you can easily see why he was called wide mouth. They're very powerful animals. They've got those big front arms, that beautiful striped coloration. Oh. So cute. He Have is. a look at his adorable <laughs> little face. He kind of looks like a frog with sharp lips. That's what Dad always used yep. to say. They do kind of <laughs> yeah, these, these little, little movements. movements. Mimic the wind and the leaves, and they'll find a prey item, and then all of a sudden they open their mouth and then whack. Oh dear. He likes good it. Good job. Yeah, beautiful. Oh. Look, it's a good patch, too. Oh, you guys are so <laughs> cute. He's like, I don't know how to get down now. He's chosen you. I think his head weighs more than my entire body. He's I really going. I can protect you with leaves. The male koalas make a really crazy noise. Can you make the noise? Yeah. 
I'm not very good That's at it. That's the noise. It's kind of like, like that. That's really cool. Yeah, isn't that wild? Thanks for watching.